just under six years. That's how long it's been since the last CVE was found in the popular front end framework, Vue.js. Hi heroes, this is Hayden with Hero Devs, and this is another episode of CVE Chronicles. I'm glad you're here. Now, Evan Yu and team ship some Thai code, so it's no wonder it's been since version 2.5 that we've seen any vulnerability. But today, I bring you CVE 2024-6783, a new medium severity CVE affecting Vue versions 2.0 right up to before 3.0. This one's a sneaky exploit found in the in-browser view template compiler, which is included in the full build of view. This vulnerability revolves around how view creates render functions from component templates, like turning this into executable code. The issue is that the in-browser template compiler can allow third-party scripts to run arbitrary code, which is a big no-no. Here's the kicker. Only certain properties like static class are susceptible to this client-side cross-site scripting vulnerability. Say that five times fast. This happens when the class attribute with a non-dynamic class is used in a template string. If this sounds like a mouthful, it's because it is. Essentially, Vue's compiler isn't properly sanitizing some of the content, making your app vulnerable. To reproduce this, the AST codigen pathway in Vue's template compiler uses properties that are initially unset and later stringified and passed to the eval statement. This pathway doesn't check for has own property, making prototype pollution possible. For a full proof of concept, check the link in the description. Now, Vue 2 has reached its end of life, so users of the affected version should take immediate action. At Hero Devs, we always suggest migrating to a newer version of Vue. If migration isn't feasible currently, a hassle-free solution is leveraging official commercial support partner for post-end-of-life security support. Like always, the worst solution is for you to do nothing. And that's about it. Thanks for tuning in. If you find these updates helpful, smash the like button like it's a bug. Subscribe and watch another video from me. Stay vigilant, stay secure, and keep being the heroes of your tech world. See you next time.